this change is occurring now, and we don't know why, if we're going to speculate, who's the net beneficiary of any changes of this current situation? The people in the Brunswick. No, they don't no. Know. The they're land not in the. Ben they are beneficiaries. Excuse me. Finish what you want to say. You <laughs> no, no, I mean, if I, the I changes go through you. based on this new consultation process and whatever sham this thing is, and they are effective in making changes, water it down, lack of a better word, and make it less, <laughs> uh, you know, cognizant or real. Who would benefit from this version of these changes? Uh, whatever, whatever uh, groups of people that are operating, would be corporations or individuals, that w would find it easier to do things and put more uh, pollution, if you want to call it that, in the river. Pollution is a, is a term that if something goes in the river and it's, it's hurting the, wa the watershed, it is a pollution. They can put more things in. The, as I said, the, the promise would be the beneficiaries here if this act and the regulation prevails as a, because it, it, isn't, it won't hurt economics and industry per se. It's going to make that we need to protect these waters. This province is recognized for the, the goodness of its waters. If we lose that, we're going to lose our economic base for, in our existence here for making profits in the future. We have to do it, as someone has said, sustainably, ecologically sustainably. We, not just the word sustainable economically, but ecologically <laughs> sustainable. We have to be able to put together the, the activities we want to do with the quality of that environment out there. And it, without the necessary processes, which this government had done, spent a whole lot of work in, and, and now they're just going to, goodbye, we're going to come up with something better. We're going to reinvent the wheel. And that's where we're at. Yeah, but the reinvention of the wheel is for an undetermined purpose that they have this. told us. Yeah. So if it, if it changes, I, I'm hearing from you that some form of large oil refining industries or gas extraction companies may be the beneficiaries because they can now do things that they would not be able to do without monitoring right. or some other understanding. They is might not have the constraints that would exist under this process. Fair enough. I'd like to speak to that of a specific example and the impetus for bringing the issue before the Ombudsman and the request we made in 2012 was the EIA of the CIS and Mine. Under the provisional classification of the, uh, the Nashwalk, the region of the Nashwalk watershed around that mine was Class A. Under that classification, no new point sources of emission were permitted unless the proponent went to the residents of the watershed and requested them to request a reclassification of that area around the mine. So in effect, the proponent had to go <coughs> make his case, his business case, to the residents of the Nashwalk that the benefit warranted the risk that was associated with it by not classifying the North Cliff resources, never had to go to the, to the residents of the watershed and were free to propose the mine without that constraint in the EIA. I'm convinced that under this strategy, they will do away with that local control. The Nashwalk no longer exists in their, in their named watersheds, and so, the residents of the Nashwalk no longer have that control. And, and if, if Northcliffe made its business case to those residents and there was a plebiscite within the watershed to reclassify, then we could all accept the outcome. We'd have to accept that democratically uh, decided upon outcome. But the government, I think, is keen to remove that, that capability, that power of watersheds, sub-watersheds, in both the cases of the Sisson Mine and the mine proposed in the Meduxa Cave. And those are two specific examples of where I think the government's trying to get with reconfiguring this whole process. They essentially okay. want to cut out we better wrap it up there. public so. input into making any of these development decisions that they didn't want to let it roll. Yeah. Okay.
thanks everybody for coming. Thank you to the media for coming. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you very much. Right here. Here we go. How are you doing? Happy World Water Day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>